Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Um, right now we're in a, a Nissan, it's a 2002 Nissan. And as you can see here, we have the ABS warning light showing on the dashboard. Uh, now, in trying to diagnose the, uh, the, the ABS fault, uh, we're using the MaxiDiag JP701, which is very good at diagnosing any uh, ABS faults. But I just want to show you this uh, one scenario, uh, which you will get. Uh, and it's basically if you if you fail to get a connection with the airbag, sorry, the ABS module. Um, right now, as you can see, we are in the. Uh, I'll show you we're in the Nissan menu here, and then we're going to scroll down to the ABS section. I'm going to try and establish a communication with the ABS module um, to try and see if we can diagnose the ABS fault. Um, a lot of people, they'll try and diagnose the ABS module and it'll come back that it cannot initialize or it cannot uh, find a connection. Um, and that's exactly what's happening here. Communication, test or not communicating with control unit. This could well mean um, that the ABS module itself is actually faulty and is completely dead and as such it's not sending or receiving any signals from the uh, the the scan tool here so um, if you do get that scenario the chances are your ABS module is dead it doesn't necessarily mean that though because sometimes you can you can have a faulty ABS module that will still produce fault codes and tell you that the ABS um, module is faulty uh, but in this case uh, what we've actually done to simulate this fault is actually unplug the ABS module um, to sort of simulate um, a dead ABS module that isn't communicating either way. Um, so this is the Autel JP701 scan tool and it will give you this information. We'll also have other videos. Um, we'll simulate an ABS sensor fault um, and then we'll show you what uh, sort of uh, fault codes uh, you, you will get with that. You will still get the same ABS warning light. You might even get a few of the warning lights uh, such as, not the indicator, uh, the brake warning light but we'll uh, we'll come to that in a moment